Hello? Hello? Victor, you've been on my show before. Yeah, like two years ago. Okay, you don't have a woman yet? Nah, I was uh, in a relationship somewhat last year. It didn't work out. So now you're single. You don't want to wear no clothes tonight. What'd you say? I said you don't want to have any clothes on? Oh, yeah. I could put a shirt on. My bad. I, my bad. It's my first time on your YouTube. Um, yeah, let me put a shirt on. My bad. Now, Victor, if I recall, you get, you've been on my show more than twice. So you really don't have another chance to be on my show. Oh, no. Nah, I've only been on your show twice. Once in uh, 2021. Yeah, twice is the match, though. So I got to see if the cousins want to see you for a third time. Um, do y'all want to see him for a third time, cousins? Let me know in the comment section. Um, Even though it was over two years ago? <laughs> I mean, we have a rule. A rule is a rule. They're telling me no. <laughs> well, 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 let, we'll see what they say. You feel me? Hopefully they want they're to. Really, they're, everyone's saying no. They hang up on you. No, thank you. I'll let they're you go fast. On. Okay, Victor, how old are you? I'm 31. 31. And where are you calling us from? I'm currently in Georgia. Georgia. You have any children? No. No kids. And what do you do for a living? I play football and I'm uh, in sales. You play football? You're a professional football player? Yes. And you're in sales. And what's your zodiac sign? I'm a Pisces. My birthday is actually coming up in a couple of weeks. Okay, we got some yeses. I think it's probably 50-50. I'm trying to see. So, okay, we'll just do it. Here we go. Uh, Victor, 31 Pisces, Georgia, no kids, professional football player, also works in sales. What kind of woman are you looking for? Uh, someone who, who's ready for a relationship, um, preferably low on the number of kids possibly kind of rather them not have them but i'm okay with women having kids um someone who's financially stable not looking for you know just to come up but someone that can also bring finances to what i got going on um yeah just someone who who's caring looking for a good man pookie baby pookies baby mama Sent five dollars and said, "What football team do you play for?" Uh, right now I play for the Iowa Barnstormers in Iowa. Iowa. It's a okay. top, top arena league right now, and then I'll be in the XFL uh, a little later this year. Okay, so arena. I'm, I'm not too familiar. It's arena team. Yeah, I I got shot two years ago, so I had to kind of take a break from football, and I'm start. This is my first year back. So I used to play for the Bingos, the Giants, all that stuff. I'm kind of starting from the bottom again right now. You got shot after you've been on my show? Yeah. How did you get shot? What happened? Um, Got into an argument with uh, someone I thought was a friend, and we got to fighting, and people don't fight these days. Where did he shoot you at? In my shin. Oh my God, that's terrible. Well, I'm happy you're alive. <laughs> Me too. It could have definitely been worse for sure. <laughs> Hold on. They're paying me to say this. Someone said, Kendra, Miss Witty said, Kendra, on behalf of the cousins, we said no, 74%. All right, all right, Miss Witty. I didn't, I saw yeses and no's. I guess you did a percentage. All right, but Miss Miss Witty, we're almost done. All right, we gave me your deal breakers. I think can I ask a, can I ask a question to that though? Yes. Because I feel like whoever that's coming from that would say no, that any didn't even see me on the first time on the show. It really don't make sense to me because if y'all looking for someone that's single, a man that's single that has good stuff going on in his life, don't have no kids, don't come with no drama. Why would you say no? And I cannot be unattractive because I've seen some men on here that I know for sure I look better than, and that I'm younger than, I have my own house, I have my own cars, what, what I'm a professional athlete and I work. What? Why would you not want to know more about me? Just curious, if they can pay to cancel me, pay to answer the questions that I have, because I'm confused. Like, isn't this the type of man y'all should want? 
My skin's not bad. I have a nice body. I'm in shape. I'm not a drug addict. Like, I'm confused. Oh, okay, Victor. Victor said, I'm, listen. I'm not, I'm not trying to be argumentative, Kendra. I'm really just trying to figure, because I'm in a dating, I'm in a single point right now. So if I can learn from women why they would say no to a person of my stature, I would like to learn from their opinions. It's not trying to be argumentative. I really want to know why they would say no to me. I don't see nothing wrong with me, honestly. Well, They're I cut, mean, so I don't have a bald head. Like, I'm confused. Am I ugly? Like, what is what is the no about? Like, well, well, Miss Winnie Reeves, you need to. Uh, you need to pay again, girl, a dollar to get the reason why the no. Um, someone said, okay. Someone said, is he gonna grab a shirt? Um, he's a. Um, okay. Let me. Well, let me say this. The reason I ask the cousins to decide because I hold people to a two-time rule. Now, granted, you are correct. It was two years ago. Um, so that's why I was allowing them to decide. But Victor, listen. Somebody said you ate down and. I mean, honestly, he kind of did eat down, guys. Like, he has a professional job. He has no children. I, I think we could agree he's not an ugly guy. Um, you know, so I don't know why they said no. Maybe they're just saying a rule is a rule. But let's, let's just keep going because uh, we are in the midst of it. So we did the Kendra Cam. Um, you kind of did the Kendra Cam when you were talking. Now, does the woman have to look a certain way? I do prefer in-shape women, um, but I have grown to like, oh, uh, not overweight, but plus size women. So I don't discriminate against, I don't want you to be completely out of shape, but I don't, I don't discriminate to a certain point. Um, I don't have a color preference. Um, I'm pretty open-minded. I'm more into the person. I do want to be attracted to you, but what I've been seeing is a lot of women I'm attracted to, I don't connect with them like mentally, spiritually, and stuff like that. So, so yeah, the women that you're attracted to, you don't connect to them mentally and spiritually? No, nah, I haven't been at all. Okay, okay. I, I do want to say this. Okay, so Miss Woody Reeves did respond, and she said, you said you've been on twice. Why are you still single since you have all of that? Well, the last relationship that I tried last year, it didn't work out because I wasn't as ready for the situation as I thought I was. She had four kids with three baby dads. So it was someone I knew over 10 years. It just happened to happen. And once I got into the situation, I seen that it, it probably wasn't the best situation for me, me having no kids and her having four. Um, that ain't to say that I don't have women or I, I haven't had experiences over the last couple of years. I'm just not one to hop in and out of committed relationships. I've only had two my whole life and I'm 31. So I'm not the type to be in a relationship for six months, then another one, the next, like, that's just not me. So that's that's why I haven't been in the relationships because I'm picky on committing myself to someone. Okay. Um, we're, I'm gonna read some of these child. You know, I, you you got the people paying to say stuff. So we got, um, okay, let me read this one. I got some. I can't read them all because I do want to say focus more. I got some messages coming in on my Facebook right now from your show. So the people that saying no, well, it's some people that feel different because they are already messaging me on Facebook. So, Woo, child. well, let me say this: little double L double I. L double I said they want Pookie love, brother, not a brother of substance, respectfully. Oh, oh, <laughs> can I answer that? I, I, well, I think he's, I, I think he is on your side, so you can oh, answer yeah, it. I, but I think what he's saying oh, yeah. is the women want Pookies and not a man of substance. That's what L double I is saying. I kind of actually been experiencing that in dating. Really? Yeah, it's like. A man with his shit together is, is scary. It's, it's, I think that's scary for women. As much as y'all try to say it's scary for us to have a woman that's got all her shit together because we don't want a woman that makes more than us and stuff, I think that's cap. A lot of women run from good men, just being real. That's what I've been experiencing. Mm. And why do you think women run from good men? 
because the narrative is that we are terrible, we cheaters, but also women do the same stuff. So they, they don't hold themselves to account to accountability. When you meet a man that has substance, has some shit going on for itself, you have to hold yourself to the same standards. And I don't think women be really ready for that too. Also, a lot of women be having these requirements of men that they can't even bring to the table themselves. So when you got a man that's really doing that and then you portraying like you doing it and then like you learn about somebody quick when you really around them. And what I've been seeing with these women is they don't be having the requirements that they require from us. Mm. They don't have the requirements that they require from the men. Okay, okay. Well, let, let's keep going. Did I ask you if she has to make a certain amount of money? No, I don't think you asked that today. You have before, but I don't think you did today. Okay, so what, are you, what is your answer to that? Honestly, I'm financially straight. So I'm not looking for finances from my woman. If anything, just be able to take care of yourself. You know what I'm saying? And then hopefully you'll have some ideas or something that can bring us more finances to our relationship that I can invest in or something that you want to do that I feel comfortable in investing in that's going to bring us money back. So just be creative and have your own shit that I can add to. I don't okay. really want to put a dollar amount on something. Okay. I'm not sure if two years ago we were doing the Kendra Kim, but let's do the Kendra Kim. All right. Okay. Not too See, fat. Not, to you know. You said hopefully you said I, what? I do got on sweats pants, so hopefully they ain't seeing prints and shit like that, but <laughs> All right, we got some more paid questions. Let me jump in with some of them. They they really have a lot to say. So HV Pookie, HV Pookie said, Pookie, entering a dating show with no shirt, take it for someone who knows. So I guess they were saying you're a Pookie because you came on with no shirts? Uh, honestly, this was my first time doing YouTube. So I, if you look in your chat, I asked probably 20 times on how to request to be on your show on YouTube. So when I was doing it, I didn't even know that I was about to be in the chat. So, no, nah, I didn't get on trying to be thirsty or trying to lure y'all in and that like that. I'm just at home in my sanctuary chilling, minding my business. Okay. But I, do I want to read this other one to you. Oh, shit. If I want to show off my body... I've been working on it. Why I can't? Shit. Well, I cut you off. Say it again. Um, I'm saying like, I've been working out, getting ready for my season. You know, my body's decent. Shit, why not? Why not go ahead and come on with the Kendra Cam? You feel me? <laughs> All right, let me read this one to you. Now it might, it might, it might fall back for what you just said. The unicorn mom, the unicorn mom. She spent five dollars. No, excuse me. She spent ten dollars to say, "You are not humble. No amount of money pays for your lack of humility. We don't want, um, we don't we outright. Oh, uh, we don't want outright arrogance." So she believes you're not humble, and she believes you're arrogant. Okay, all right, Kendra, you've been the interviewer on this interview so far. Yes. Have you gotten that for me? Well, let me say this. Let me say this. I'm used to men like you. And I and I try to explain this to women often, that the men that y'all describe that has the money, has the looks, has the height or whatever, this pretty much is a very normal personality. That man is going to be very confident. He's going to know his worth. He's going to know that there's plenty of women that want him. And honestly, some of the confidence like, I hate to use Kanye West, but Kanye West is the perfect example. It's the belief in almost the overconfidence what, what gets them to the success. Like, these are not humble men half of the time. So for me, I'm accustomed to it. Like, I am used to men that act like you. <laughs> this is just what the world, these, this is a very normal um, personality trait for the men in my real world who are very successful. And, you know, you take it or leave it, ladies. Like, I'm, I mean, yes, there could be some humility to it, granted. 
But no, most of these men are very confident. They're very confident and they know their worth. I would I would say to that though, like I'm super confident, but I don't like to be called cocky. Like I'm super humble. I've been to the top and I hell, I played in the NFL and now I'm playing arena ball. Like, so you talking about starting from the bottom. How how am I not humble? Like I had to start all the way over. And I'm sure Kendra knows what the NFL is, but she didn't even know what arena ball was. So when you're talking about like being humble, I'm like one of the most humble people. <laughs> my situations have put my situation I put myself in has made me humble. So anyone that sees like cocky, I, I just disagree well, I think, with. Well, this is what I think. Uh, when when the first person that paid Miss Witty paid and said, "You've been up here twice. We don't have to be up here again." And then you responded with. Why wouldn't y'all want to see a man like me? Like, I play football. I have no kids. I look good. A lot of men that come on the show don't even look good. So I'm trying to understand why you would not want an opportunity with a man like me. That wasn't a humble response. Not saying you had to be, but that wasn't a humble response. And I think that response is the moment that certain women turn left. I disagree. I disagree with, I disagree with that because... I didn't initially come on here saying that stuff about me. That was in response to them saying no. So I was explaining to them why on those traits that I feel like I have for myself, that was in response to their their them saying what they were saying. So I didn't initially just come on here like, yeah, like I'm back, you know, I'm the sexiest dark skinned man in the world. My body good. I, I have great sex. Like I didn't do none of that. You know what I'm saying? No, well, you didn't. Well, that's why I said it was your response. It definitely was something I said, but then you still responded. And in so many words in your response, you did say, why would you not want a man like me? And again, it's subjective. I, Again, I, I'm used to this shit. Like, this, this, sure. this is what it is, child. But yeah, sure. I can see a person being turned off because in so many ways, you're saying you are a better option than the other men that you have seen on the show. So why wouldn't a woman want to hear from you more? And that is how you feel. I mean, yeah, that is that is how I feel. And then if I go off of what women explain that they want in men, I feel like those are my traits. So I was just explaining what I feel like women that are single are looking for in a good man. And I thought that I, I, I thought I was in that category. So, but if anyone think I'm cocky, I apologize, but I am definitely confident for sure. Okay, let's keep going. So when was your last relationship, Victor? Uh, last year, we ended in like October. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask, when's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, like two weeks ago. Okay, is that girl an option? No ma'am, no ma'am. Why not? She's older. Um. It's just one of those cougars that come through every now and then and get some get some shit. Okay. Listen, these are two um, paid compliments to you. Two paid compliments. Latoya, um, oh, well, let me read it because I didn't screenshot it. Latoya said, oh, I can't see it. Here it is. Latoya said, I'm the same way. Know your worth. Latoya Williams said, she's the same way like you. Know your worth. And December Neal said, sir, um, oh, no, this is somebody else. It says, sir, we don't want to get shot while out on a date with you. <laughs> that was, I don't know if I like that one, December, Neil. You said you I were in a fight. It wasn't like a yeah. random shooting, right? No, it wasn't. I wasn't at the club. I was fighting a friend. <laughs> like, you feel me? I don't go out fighting. No, I don't do none of that. So you in good hands. If anything, we walking away from situations. Um... I can definitely defend myself, but that's only when it comes down to it. We ain't starting nothing. We just finished stuff. So your safety is right. not a concern if you're rocking with me, okay? Okay. And then another compliment in your favor, L double I said, what's wrong with a real man having self-esteem now? He's up here explaining himself and apologizing. That's crazy. So I guess L double I is saying you don't got to explain yourself. You have self-esteem, and that's what it is. Um, Maya said... People cannot stand a confident woman or man. They want you to be insecure. So a lot of these people are agreeing with you now. 
I appreciate that for real. For real, for All sure. Right. Okay. Now, uh, what are three flaws you have to work on? Patience. Um, communication. And being by myself. So you don't like being by yourself? No, I like being by myself. Oh, you like being by yourself. Okay. Yeah. And I, I think that's... Kids, uh, do you want to have children? Yeah. Yes, I do. I do. Um, do you want to get married? Yes, I do. Um, now, you dated a woman. You said I have four children. Would you date a woman with children? Yes, I would. Okay. Um, should she be in Georgia? No. No, she can be damn near anywhere, to be honest. Um, I'm a traveler. Um, I like to travel. Um, yeah, I'm all over the world right now, so it is what it is. I'm, I'm going for the connection, not the location. Okay. And I will say this, as in well, they, whether they believe it or not, I will say this is a more humble Victor uh, experience. I think in the past you were a little bit... <laughs> If y'all thought he was cocky here or confident, I feel like you're actually a little bit more, um, <laughs> you're not as cocky as someone would have said in the, in the previous two times, if that makes sense. I, I, feel, I felt like he was going to say that after we had that conversation. <laughs> it could have been worse, <laughs> ladies. <laughs> All right, Victor, why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I don't have kids. Um, I'm financially stable. Um, I'm working on myself as a man. Um, I'm a provider. I'm super caring. Um, I'm affectionate. I have a thug side and a CEO side and a soft side. So we can go anywhere and be in any room and fit in and make it happen. Um, I like fun. I used to frown all the time. Now I smile a lot. So good energy, good vibes. Um, yeah, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't I? I'm a catch. You feel me? <laughs> oh, you're the catch. <laughs> oh, ooh, ooh, child. Okay, well, let me say this. Again, you have, you are, I mean, y'all say y'all didn't want to see him, but y'all sure are paying a lot of money to say things about him. These are probably- Kendra, I made you some money tonight. The, I mean, they paying to say these things out loud, child. So here we go. This is in your favor. It's pronounced Ray um, Alizé. Ray Alizé said, spent $20 to say, I didn't get arrogance. He's chill for real. I fuck with him. They just wanted someone new. LOL. He's right. Women might just be intimidated because they can't match him. Okay. That was in okay. your favor. Okay. That was a comment in your favor. Um, okay. I don't know if this is a, a girl or a boy, but they said, Victor, you are fine. Oh, I don't know if you want me to. Okay. I'm going to read it. It's from a man, Victor. So just brace yourself. Okay. You said it's from a man? Yes, it's from a man. All, okay, but well it's a compliment, but here's what he's paid. He paid $10 to set. Victor, you are fine. If you ever decide to switch teams, hit me up. I appreciate you. No disrespect. No disrespect. I appreciate the compliment. Um, I, I stay in my lane, though. He said, okay, that was a, that was, I think that was a justifiable response okay um you weren't offended you, you didn't offend him and you stood your ground so we can respect that all right uh, this is gonna be okay y'all don't pay no more money because we got to keep going P pookie's baby mama spent five dollars to say this is in your favor 90 percent of women are arrogant af working at a call center wants a man who makes 200k no one says anything to them so what's wrong with his confidence Pookie's baby mama's in your favor. I, uh, Kendra, did I not say that though? I didn't. I didn't specifically say call center, but it's women that don't have jobs. They're in the club every night, different sections, not paying nothing. They look decent enough to be invited into the section to drink free all night, so they're not spending no money outside. But their requirements is for a man to make over. 150,000, 200,000. Like, it's just, dating is not realistic. And that's probably why I'm struggling. 
because I'm not meeting realistic women, bro. Like everybody don't make two hundred thousand dollars a year. Like I don't know. I I need help. That's why I'm here. I'm trying to figure this shit out. Like I'm trying to figure it out. Well, let me say what happened. It's a gift and a curse. Social media. We're talking obviously via social media, right? And I've been saying this a lot lately because I do love my show. I really do love my show, and I'm grateful beyond measure for the success of the show. But I always want people to know that do not make my show your first dating pool. Make your real life, your real world, your first dating pool. And the reason I say that is because of Instagram, TikTok, more so Instagram, because everybody's rich on Instagram. You scroll all day, and then women see how certain women are being treated. So now all of a sudden, stop moving, Victor, because you're moving a lot they require the same treatment. Like, they're seeing a woman get flewed out. It's like, well, now my man got to fly me out. And that's just what it is. And if he don't fly me out, he ain't good enough to be my man because now everybody's being exposed to all different relationship dynamics. But what people don't realize is you never know the backstory of all these posts. So you don't even know what that girl is dealing with. You don't know if that girl actually might be making more to the guy. You don't know the whole story. So... The no, game is don't. screwed up. The great the game is screwed up because people just, you know, they don't want to date in the real world. They want to date what they see online. So we're we're it is kind of a mess. It really is. It's unfortunate. Um it's crazy because men we're able to decipher the difference and still don't we don't we don't still be like that to the women though. So it's just it's just it's just weird. It's still confusing to me. Cause we could be the same way, but we'll take a female that works at churches if we make two hundred thousand dollars and won't give a damn. Like, well, let me tell you the reason why. Because men are, I mean, it's 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 okay for men to be a breadwinner, right? So that's why sometimes a man that makes two hundred k, he doesn't care. He just wants to want. He actually doesn't probably want a career woman sometimes because his goal may be for a woman to fit into his life, right? Yeah. yeah so. Sure. He wants a woman that's available when he wants to be available, but he's also aware that he has to pay for that. So he's yeah. aware that I'm paying for her to be available. I'm paying for her to have my children. I'm paying for that. So that's why a man who makes 200K would easily date a beautiful woman who doesn't make the same. But women, I and, and I get the mindset of women, they don't date like that. If a woman makes 200K, Nine times out of ten, she's not really trying to date in that mindset. She doesn't want a man she has to take care of and pay all and pay all the bills. She normally wants a man that makes the same or more. But that's that's gonna be going on forever and ever. We gotta go, Victor. Did you give your contact information? Uh no. Um Facebook is my name. Uh so just Victor Hampton. Uh Victor what else? Hampton. I, yeah, Victor and Hampton on, on Facebook. Mm -hmm. And then on Instagram, it's uh, the bandit E N G. So T H E B A N D I T E N G, the bandit. And that's on Instagram. And what was that's the age range you would date? You're 31. Um, Age range, uh, like 28 to 36, 38 ish. If right, she's 40. Um, if she's like 40 and we're like, we like on some serious, I would rather her like not probably have young kids or a lot of kids. Um, so she could, you know, move around and travel and stuff like that. 40 okay. would probably, I would go on like something serious. Okay. All right. But well, listen, you keep me posted how it goes, Victor. I appreciate you for keeping me on Kendra. I know you could have gotten me up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So I appreciate you and I'll definitely keep you updated. I did find someone the first time. I did visit her. It just didn't work out. So hopefully this time it does work out for me. Well, I will say this, Victor. You are good on paper, right? Yeah, I mean, you do have a lot of the qualities that women say. I love the fact that you don't have any kids. So you can start your family with someone. I think, I mean, to me, you, you're 31. You play professional football. You could have easily just had a uh, a professional football baby. So the fact that you didn't just get anybody pregnant to me shows that you're thinking about that aspect of you. So I wish you well. I do. Appreciate you, Kendra. Same to okay. you, all right? Thank you so much. Bye, baby. Bye. Um, I, I want to say this. I want to say this. And I'm going to say it like this. Life is not fair. 
life is not fair. And I think as soon <laughs> as we can accept that life is not fair, you will learn the game of life better and you will play it in the way that makes sense for you. That makes sense for you. Now, um, I do want to say this. I definitely was giving you guys the opportunity to decide because we I do like to stay to the, the, the two time on the show rule, but we also got to keep it real. I had I actually had this conversation earlier tonight on Facebook. A woman literally said that ever since I got into a relationship, I don't have men on the show, which was mind boggling to me. I actually feel like I've been getting a lot more men on this platform within the last month lately, which I was very, I've been very happy about. But the reality of it is this, there's more women who are ready to settle down than men. And I get 90% women request to be on the show than men. Now with these men, I get, now I will tell you this, I get a plethora of men in different countries every night trying to get on the show. So if y'all just wanted a man and you didn't care what country he lived in, then you would have no problem. Because when I tell you, I got a row of men in different countries that want to be on this show. But I also know that my audience is mostly US, US based. And the number one complaint from the US women are you don't want a man out of the country. So I honor that because I really am trying to cater to the majority of the audience. So with that being said, if there is a black man that don't got no kids, and do got an honest job, and he's not ugly. He was an attractive guy. I think he. I think you should probably listen to see if this is an opportunity for you. And that's just what it is, people. I don't make the rules, but I'm trying to wake y'all up to the death. I'm just trying to wake y'all up to, to pure numbers. You can take what you want with the information, but right now we are having a math equation, okay? It's a math equation. Let's keep going. 